Welcome back, folks. Today we'll be ranking Pop-Tarts. I always ate brown sugar Pop-Tarts when I was a kid. Maybe I could have gone without the 74 grams of sugar. Is that why you're so monotone now? Burn out from all that sugar? I wish someone would burn you out, Joe. You have a lot of energy this morning. Burn out, Joe? His brain basically burns out every day and then shuts off completely when he hits a seat cushion and goes nap time. All right, let's get serious here, folks. We're ranking strawberry first. No, why the most boring Pop-Tart you're going to rank first? That makes no sense. These are so terrible. Such a fucking Pop-Tart hater, man. These are pretty good. For some reason, this flavor gives me heartburn and a bad aftertaste. This is the generic flavor where if you are ever to see a Pop-Tart being offered in public, they offer you this flavor. The jam is a bit harsh, yes. A big strawberry guy, though. I'm gonna have to go C tier. The strawberry doesn't taste too great, and these are definitely too available. Even though the brown sugar ones are a bit too sugary for me now, what are your opinions on them? Oh, come on, GW, that's basic. Brown sugar cinnamon is where it's at. S tier for sure, all that strong sugar. Guys, guys, this is the original Pop-Tart. Yeah, back in the day, all we had to pick from was strawberry, blueberry, and these. The first Pop-Tart that was for fat boys instead of all the fruit flavors. Yeah, okay, Donald, keep yapping over there with your fat ass. It's hard to imagine a world where those are your three pathetic Pop-Tart options. I would go blueberry every time. They're terrible. Things with brown sugar are supposed to have an earthier taste to them. Trash tier. Gonna go C tier for these. You gotta enhance the flavor by toasting it and spreading some butter on top. Not a self-sufficient Pop-Tart at all and just becomes way too dry. Next, what do we think of Wild Berry? Wild Berry, more like Mild Berry. That's a C tier at best. And don't even get me started on the unfrosted ones. Trash tier all day. Whoa, shots fired. Wild Berry has the best color scheme and the best design. Like everyone stopped and did a double take when I had these at my school lunch table. When you were a kid or at your school lunch table now? Come on now, this shouldn't even be debatable. These Pop-Tarts are what made Pop-Tarts so appealing in the first place. You get a delicious mix of berry flavor that's not too tart and an extra drizz of icing. Slap, they look so quirky and fun like me, almost like Willy Wonka made them. All right, I think they're pretty fire too. Gonna throw these into A tier. Now we have frosted chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts. Great chocolatey Pop-Tarts, and I think chocolatey tarts are the best tarts. How else are you gonna get some tart with your chocolate? I don't know, maybe add some raspberry or citrus flavor, you dipshit. Listen, this is no place for name calling. Shut your mouth before you get us demonetized. Obama, the only way we're getting demonetized is if you post a day in the life video. The amount of gay sex and drone striking and trips to Epstein's Island would be enough to take us off the payroll. Controlled opposition, Trump. Obama never went to Epstein's island. Oh, I called Cap. Not Cap, never been. Gay sex, don't know what you're talking about. These Pop-Tarts are garbage ads, nothing to the chocolate Pop-Tart scene. I have to agree. Yeah, I see what you mean. Trash tier for these, because then you have the s'mores Pop-Tarts. Yeah, s'mores are the best Pop-Tarts. Ooh, yeah, these Pop-Tarts really pull you in. Yes, absolutely. I hope one day someone uses these to lure you into a campfire. Me too, George. The s'mores Pop-Tart deserves S tier. It's the beet flavor or at least top three. S tier for the s'mores tarts. Okay, what about cookies and cream? Slaps even harder than a McFlurry. If you putting s'mores into S tier, then these better go there too. Facts. No Pop-Tart hits like these cookies and cream Pop-Tarts. S tier they go, bam. Okay, now what do you guys think about the hot fudge Sunday Pop-Tart? So delicious. Oh man, it really tastes like there's hot fudge on it. Yeah. I always get excited about that, too. Sit the fuck down. This Pop-Tart ain't all that in a bag of chips. It's sickening, to be honest. I can't even stomach one. Yeah, I'm with Obama. Actually, these are way too heavy and fat boy-esque. Uh, like, these Pop-Tarts literally make me sick. You guys have really weak stomachs, then. It has a soft marshmallow filling and vanilla icing with some hot fudge on, too. Truly a delicious snack, one for the ages. Now, I'll put it into C tier. The sprinkles and fudge are all dehydrated, so it gets old very fast. Next up, we have the cheery Pop-Tart. Amazingly simple and elegant. They are glittery and the little booger sugar cookie sprinks. I thought I told you those don't exist, old man. Yeah, what the fuck? Although those little circular glitter sprinkles are better than a full-ass sprinkle when added to a Pop-Tart. Yeah, for real. This thing looks like a drag queen. Tastes great, though. I'm gonna go B tier. Now, what about blueberry? Blueberry Pop-Tarts are some of the best Pop-Tarts I have ever tasted. If blueberry Pop-Tart flavor could be present in my mouth at all times, I would be in eternal content. Such an oddball. Shut the fuck up, Trump. It's not that crazy, you silly fuck. These Pop-Tarts are amazing, and I have to go S tier. I always suck the roof of my mouth after the last bite, trying to hold on to that sweet tart blueberry flavor and the red, white, and blue sprinkles. Delicious. 
S tier for sure. All right, let's go S tier. We'll have to just do a part two of this and call it wonky pop tart flavors. Let us know in the comments what you liked or didn't like in the comments. Remember, if you don't like it now, that doesn't mean you won't love it later. Goodbye, folks.